All right, we're set up at 65 yards, shooting a Hooban K1, 25 caliber, and should be shooting around 1,000 feet per second or pretty close to that, and we're shooting pellets that fast. Um, and let's we'll see, uh, 17 shots. See how she does. Second dot up in the middle. Nine hundred ninety seven. Nine hundred ninety seven. One thousand four. Nine hundred ninety seven. One thousand nine hundred ninety five nine hundred ninety five nine hundred eighty eight nine hundred ninety five nine hundred ninety seven nine hundred ninety three Nine hundred eighty six, nine hundred ninety five, nine hundred ninety three, nine hundred ninety, nine hundred eighty eight, nine hundred ninety five. All right, that was all 17. Uh, we're going to set up again and do a rapid fire at the dot right underneath that. All right, I adjusted my backstop there a little bit where we can use the middle, middle dot for this rapid fire. And we're going to roll some out here and see what kind of recovery we get on that regulator. 17 shots again. All right, that is 65 yards, 17 shot groups, and that one in the top is a is that rapid fire, and the uh, the reg recovery on it was uh, I think it was it was pretty good. De definitely not a lot of difference between that and the uh, single. And I've heard a, a lot of stuff on the net saying that the K1s don't recover quickly, but uh, those numbers that was reeling off there, it, it was it was pretty tight. So uh, definitely didn't affect the groups any. If anything, the uh, I mean it, it's the rapid fire is pretty 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 close to being as tight as the as the as the single shots there. So anyway, um, let me show you a few things that I've done here on this gun as well. Guns ergonomics is just awesome, but it's very slick the the finish on it. And zoom in here. You can see I've I took a took a wood burner and give it some texture on the grip area and also moving down on the foregrip as well. And it's really helped out a lot. And 
Another thing I want to talk about real quick, I, I like to keep these br videos brief. I hate, hate long videos, try to get to the point here. Things that matter as far as accuracy goes on these Hubens. Um, oddly enough, the, th the thousand feet per second is, it shoots the most accurate shooting that fast i mean the the general consensus is around you know low 900s or maybe even upper 800s as far as uh you know shooting the 25 caliber pellets in, in most guns but this gun likes speed and uh honestly I, whenever i shoot it any slower the groups open up and it i mean it is just dead on you know just like what you're seeing there i mean it's reliable you you may I mean, as far as a flyer, like a ridiculous flyer, like, you know, inches away, it never happens. Okay, well, well let me, let me uh, qualify that. It never happened since I've made a few uh, modifications as far as on the, not just on the speed, but also the baffles in this gun. I couldn't see any evidence of clipping, but I know there was clipping. Uh, reason being because whenever... I opened up the holes in the baffles just just a, a little bit. I mean, ju just enough. I, I tell you what I did. I, I got a um, I got a, a carbon arrow that was pretty close to, or, or just just barely over the diameter of uh, of my slugs that I shoot through it, and I opened it up a little bit bigger than that to where that arrow would go all the way through, and then to make sure all those individual baffles were in alignment and then I screwed that cap on while the arrow was in there. Okay, so so th the baffles definitely made a difference. And you, you can see my end cap a little chewed up there where I've done that. But um, I tightened it down really good and um, the, the the baffles, it, I mean, it, th that was the biggest, that was the biggest thing that made the, the, the most difference. And also as far as, uh, uh, a little bit of experimenting I've done is I took that barrel band off the front there and tried that because you know a lot of guys you know, prescribe to the floating barrel is you know is the best and but uh, no it, it is not on this gun at least uh, you, you need that barrel you know strapped down rigid you know just like that ba the barrel band makes it so um, anyway um, hadn't put out a video in a while thought I'd do some pellets for you guys they're, they're really doing well on this gun now and uh, a lot easier to load than those slugs. I mean, the slugs are still, I mean, the slugs are shooting even better too since I uh, did the uh, modification and the alignment on the baffles like I described earlier there. But anyway, incredibly quiet gun too for the power it's putting out. It is an uh, awesome piece of engineering here. And uh, anyway, really enjoying it. And, and if you guys have one, I know you are too. All right, well, uh, happy new year to everyone and uh, happy and safe shooting.